Years after it opened, the Paseo interchange is finally done. Today, the mayor showed off the very last piece, the landscaping. Landscaping the interstate has been a priority for the last couple of mayors, but there's still a lot of work to do and not a lot of money with which to do it. News 13's Brianna Gallegos is live at Paseo and I-25 with more. Brianna. Dean, just landscaping the Paseo interchange costs almost two and a half million dollars. If you drive through Albuquerque, you'll still see a lot of stretches that need a makeover, but it could take a while. Not all of Albuquerque's interchanges look like this. It's a front door to our city as you come in from the north. Paseo and I-25 interchange is fairly new. Just a few years ago, the state and city joined together to redo and reconstruct on and off wraps. That project came in under budget by almost two and a half million dollars. So the extra money was used to landscape 10 acres in the area. Today, Mayor Barry announced the completion. So now we've got a great landscape feature coming in from the north side of our city. And then we even save some additional money during this project that we can now use for some additional improvements in the area. But once you pass Paseo on I-25, most of the interchanges don't look as nice. Jefferson, Montano, Cesar Chavez, all the way past the Sunport, mostly dirt. Pretty soon Rio Bravo interchange will look like this, but landscaping isn't included in the state's plan. Drivers we spoke to say they would like to see landscaping like this at other interchanges to make Albuquerque more appealing. I think it's a wonderful idea because there it uh, beautifies the intersection itself and puts a good image when people come to visit that they see a beautiful city as opposed to dirt or rubbish, etc. I think it should be low maintenance and low water, but yes, I think it looks much better than plain dirt. The city hopes to have all the intercha interchanges in Albuquerque finished and landscaped in the next decade. Of course, money is a big issue here. The state has cut back on funding and the city only has so much bond money that it can use towards landscaping. Back to you. All right, Brianna, thank you. Now, another issue the state keeps talking about fixing up the old interchanges on I-25 from Montano all the way down to the Sunport. The city doesn't want to landscape, though, something just to see it get torn out for new construction.